afternoon. My name is Joseph Dickinson. Today I will be recording uh, my lesson to teach you about the government structure and how exactly it works. The standards I'll be working with are from Tennessee State Standards. We have Government Civics.06, describe limited government with the Constitution, including checks and balances, separation of powers, and judicial review. Government Six. Government Civics.10, analyze Article 1 of the Constitution as they relate to the legislative branch, including eligibility for offices, roles and lengths of terms, and election to office for representatives and senators, respectively. Government Civics 16, analyze Article 2 of the Constitution as it relates to the executive branch, including oath of office, commander in chief of the military, eligibility for the office, length of the term 22nd Amendment, and then lastly, Government Civics 19, analyze Article 3 of the Constitution as it relates to the judicial power, including the length of terms and the jurisdiction of the U.S. Supreme Court. Of this lesson, we're going to talk about Congress. I am Congress Member D. So today I'm going to explain to you how the Congress works. So Congress is made up of a bicameral legislative body, it consists of the House of Representatives, the Senate, and their job is to make legislation or laws. So first you have the House of Representatives. The qualifications for the House of Representatives is you must be 25 years of age, you must live in the state that you reside, that you represent, and you must have been a U.S. citizen for at least seven years. Your length of term is for two years. You can have as many terms as you want, and the leader of the House of Representatives is called the Speaker of the House. Then next, you have the Senate. Qualifications to be a senator is you must be 30 years of age, you must have lived in that uh, United States for nine years, and you must also live in the state you represent. The length of the term consists of six years. Um, how many terms can they serve? Also, like the House of Representatives, it's unlimited. Uh, they also make laws, and the Senate is the head of the Senate is ran by the vice president. The Senate contains 100 members, so the vice president is actually the tiebreaker. Now, the House of Representatives and the Senate also fall within um, the Article One of the Constitution. There are seven different articles, and the first article has to do with the legislative branch, which deals with the House of Representatives and the senators. See, I am President Abraham Lincoln, and today I'm going to talk to you about the second article of the Constitution. The second article of the Constitution has to do with the President of the United States. Qualifications to be President of the United States is you must be 34, 35 uh, years old, you must have lived within the United States for 14 years, and you must be a natural born citizen of the United States. Uh, the length of the term is four years. The President can only serve two terms. Uh, the 22nd Amendment is actually what is the legality in the Constitution that says the president may only serve for two terms. So the president actually enforces laws. We talked about the legislative branch with Congress that, that they make the laws. The president enforces the laws. The president also is part of the executive branch. That is what their part of the Constitution in Article 2 is referred to as. They are also known as the commander in chief of the military. So the military isn't actually ran by any, like the head of the military isn't someone who's actually in the military. It's actually up to the citizens. The Honorable Judge D of the Supreme Court. And today I'm gonna to talk to you about the third article of the constitution. So in the Supreme Court, there are nine justices to be a qualification for the Supreme Court. Uh, you really, it's a misconception that you had to be an actual lawyer or a judge to be a Supreme Court member, but that it's actually not true. It does help, but technically you don't have to be one. The length of the term, uh, normally a, if you're a Supreme Court justice, you serve for life. So usually either you retire at a very old age or you literally die on the Supreme Court. So what do they do? So we talked about how the legislative branch deals with in making the laws, the which is Congress, and then the executive branch, which is the president, enforces the laws and now the Supreme Court known as the judicial branch actually interprets the law so let's say if someone breaks the law and they go to court the judicial branch actually makes sure that the law is constitutional um, that's where you get into your lower courts for example like a judge they use the Constitution to enforce like it might could be a state law or a county law to make sure that they are actually following the Constitution
going to go over the Tennessee standards. So today we talked about Government Civics 06, describe limited government with the Constitution, including checks and balances, separation of powers, and judicial review. Talked about Government Civics 10, analyze one, Article 1 of the Constitution as they relate to the legislative branch, including eligibility for office roles, lengths of terms, and election to office for representatives and senators, respectively. Uh, Government Civics 16 analyze Article 2 of the Constitution as it relates to the executive branch, including oath of office, commander in chief of the military, eligibility for office, length of term with the 22nd Amendment. And then lastly, we talked about Government Civics 19 analyze Article 3 of the Constitution as it relates to judicial power, including the length of terms and the jurisdiction of the U.S. Supreme Court. Thank you. I hope you have learned something today. <laughs>